This is Earth Faith here for Buck Show Walter on Earth Based Records YouTube channel. And this segment is about the state of California electrifying and moving away from gas power. Uh, by electrifying, we're talking about both home heating, which will have to be electric if your uh, home heater, gas power home heater, breaks down. And, uh, in the year 2030 or thereafter, then you're going to have to replace it with an electric power home heater or heat mover of some kind. Now, it, it also with automobiles, by the year 2035, the state of California is banning the sale or the rather the purchase by California residents of uh, gasoline power <laughs> this is a different fuel between natural gas and uh, and liquid gasoline power vehicles now <clears throat> what does this all mean in a general sense of course there's a electric is gonna be taking over for fossil fuels this is due to climate change and uh, energy and the environment but there's more to it than that as there always is and what it is, is a, a centralization of the fuel uh, economy. Because uh, when your gasoline, when gasoline is in your car, uh, you fill it up at a gas station, this is all very decentralized. You have different uh, gas oil companies, you know, filling up the gas stations and then the gas tanks in your car, every vehicle has fuel in it. But with electric, it's all on a grid. Now, does this mean there'll be no fossil fuels being used in the state of California? No, very unlikely because uh, when you go to the main power plant, of course, it could be a nuclear power plant, it could be a solar power plant, you could have solar, um, on your house on the roof of your house but more most power plants right now still work on fossil fuels it could be natural gas could be oil could be coal uh, whatever it is the still the majority of power plants are uh, working on fossil fuels now when it's in a power plant environment the ability to contain the pollution and control the pollution is there i'm not saying that california won't ban uh fossil fuel in power plants as well they could go hydroelectric they could go a lot of different uh, green energy ways it hasn't happened yet now the other interesting thing um is that with regards to the vehicles now we're not talking about home heating uh, and the natural gas in your home but we're talking about the vehicles this is the other component and in the vehicles your car this is a huge transition worldwide towards electric vehicles not only electric vehicles after that it could be driverless vehicles that means that the vehicle drives itself and then if it's like that it could be a huge rail system throughout the whole state of, and you would have you know your own compartment which is what a car is uh, an automobile is but uh it would be driverless and it might run on some kind of electronic beacon system or it could run on rails, uh, it could run on a lot of things, but the next generation, when you get into driverless, could uh, be you know a whole grid for the vehicles on the road, and this could be uh, encompassing the entire state of California, it could encompass the entire United States if they agree on a technology. But basically what we're saying here is California is definitely moving electric with home heating and with uh, automobiles. The next generation could be much uh, more advanced uh, technologically.
leaps than that. Earth Faith here, signing off.